Well, hello, scrappers. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video, I'm going to do some maintenance on my home built fume hood here. A uh, couple things. Gonna um, replace this bilge blower, which is starting to give me trouble. I can tell it's on its way out. I think the bearings are about shot in it. I get about six months out of one of these before I have to replace them. Even though it's supposedly a sealed, the motor's supposedly sealed. The fumes going through here, the hydrogen chloride, the nitrogen dioxide, the sulfur dioxide, the whatever, the steam gets to it after a while. Like I say, I get about six months out of it. And uh, I can tell by the squealing it does and how loud it's getting the bearings are about shot. And eventually it'll wobble so bad that the, the plastic blades in there will hit the side and they'll start breaking. So need to replace that. I've got uh, a big uh, beaker of gold solution in there. I want to drop the gold today, but I don't want to have this fail on me when the fume hood is full of sulfur dioxide after I put the SMB in and have to run from a cloud of that. So I want to go ahead and replace this and get that up and running on the new one before I do that. I also see now that I'm back here looking at the back of the fume hood that... Uh, the caulking around this arm right here is starting to break loose, so I'm going to have to uh, re-caulk that. I've got some silicone caulk ready, ready to go. I can re-caulk that. Um, at least this time I don't have wasp nests back here. I don't spend that much time around this side of the fume hood, so I don't always know what's going on. One time I was back here to try and replace the uh, blower, and there was a big wasp nest formed back there, and they were not happy about having me around. But uh, just, just uh, to review for any of you who are not familiar with my home-built fume hood, it's, it's pretty simple. It's just a four-sided box, basically. One, two, three, four. Uh, there's no bottom to it. It just sits on my workbench. And uh, the, the other side has plexiglass doors on it that I can open and close to get in and out of the fume hood. And there's a little gap underneath the doors so the air can flow in and then around take the fumes and out through the fume hood this hose just goes around the side of the building out into the yard we have about three and a half acres here there's nobody else around that just takes the fumes far away from me uh, since most of the fumes are heavier than air one question I get a lot is why don't you build a stack and run the fumes up because the fumes that I'm producing are heavier than air I had a stack originally on my fume hood and if the air was calm, there wasn't a wind like there is today, the fumes would come right back down on me. So um, I just run them out into the yard far away from me. They hug the ground as they dissipate. No big problems with that. A little patch of dead grass around the end of the hose. That's it. Okay. So uh, got a light up on top of the fume hood too that shines down into it. I have a piece of glass covering the light so the fumes can't get up into it and rot it out because they will. The fumes produced in here pretty much destroy everything. So, Coast Guard helicopter flying over trying to drown me out. But, uh, yeah, so I got to replace this, uh, this blower. It's pretty simple. Usually it takes me about five or ten minutes tops. Uh, just connect the wires up here on these wire nuts. So there's the wires free. I need to uh, disconnect the hoses on either end just by loosening up these hose clamps. I've got my gloves on because number one, it's very dirty back here. And number two, uh, usually there's some condensate here and that condensate generally is very acidic. It's kind of nasty. So, I wear gloves. Alright, so there's just two screws holding this thing in place. Them out. And there's the old blower. Yeah, the 
bearings are not so good and it is not so free turning anymore getting really loud the motor is sealed I don't know if you can see up in there it's covered with rubber got wires going in through grommets but uh, still somehow the bearings go bad in these pretty quickly maybe it would help if I didn't buy the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon but uh, you know something that's got to be replaced every six months why buy something expensive right alright so we got the new blower here gotta make sure I get Well, the other one had a nice arrow on it telling which way the air airflow went. Ah, there it is. Okay. Not so obvious on this one. Okay, so the air is blowing this way. So this is the way I want to put it back on. I want to put it on backwards. A couple screws back in to hold it in place. And I'll tighten the lamps down again. all breaking loose there. There's nothing but caulk holding it in place. The caulk's breaking loose, so I need to re-caulk that. I don't want to have a big air leak on the back of the box and reduce the suction. Ah, hose clamp fell off. Wasn't seeing it immediately. Getting this hose back on is the hardest part of the whole operation. Now that slid on really nice. Clamp around the metal ribs in it. There we are. Tighten it back down. got to do I need to strip back these wires some more so that uh, I can put in the wire nuts over there So this is a 12 volt blower, built for use in boats, bilge blower. Um, I've got a little 12 volt power supply up here on the other side of the light that uh, powers it. up this wiring a little bit get it up out of the way so nothing snags on it doesn't flap around in the breeze need a longer wire tie yeah These are good and tight. Okay. Flip the switch to make sure it's going to work. Oh, it's so quiet. Can you hear it? Nice. The other one was just screeching. I knew the bearings were about shot. So we're good for about another six months, but I'll get on Amazon later today and order another one just so I have it on hand when this one inevitably fails. 
Okay, so now we do a little caulking. And that should conclude today's maintenance session on the, uh, the old fume hood here. Let's see. There we go. Do a little caulking around here. Another reason to wear gloves, I don't get to caulk on my fingers. Once this sets up, I don't have any more air leaks back here. And there we are. My cheap home built, but works pretty darn good, fume hoods up and running again. Ready to make some gold over there on the other side. So I will get set up for that. I got about two liters of gold bearing liquid in there that I need to drop the gold out of. But I did not want that sulfur dioxide in my face. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this brief maintenance video at least a little bit interesting, educational, inspirational, whatever. Give the video a thumbs up. Give it a give it a silicone thumbs up. Give it a like and subscribe to see future videos and check out my second channel, Electro Geek 64. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.